the great scholars of Islam belonging to subcontinent of India were discussed and introduced and their services and accomplishments were elaborated by my predecessors by different ulama on different aspects of their accomplishments. At the same time, this occasion has been taken to be an opportunity to launch the English translation of my humble book, humble Urdu book, Akabira Devan Kyate, and what were the elders and great scholars of Darulum of Deoband. In this regard, perhaps you have been listening to the informative and elaborate lectures on different services rendered by the ulama of subcontinent of India and especially the scholars belonging to Tarulum of Teoband, the great seminary, the great university of Islamic learning that used to be called Azhar of India. And that, that was a counterpart of Azhar in promoting and teaching Islamic disciplines. At the very outset, I would like to clear, clarify a point that was pointed out by my learned brother, Mara Muhammad bin Adam also, that you have been listening to the services and accomplishments of the scholars of subcontinent continent of India with a special reference to the scholars of Darulum of Deoband. It is not because the scholars of Darulum of Deoband are a different sect from the mainstream of, of Muslim Ummah. It is not because the scholars of Darulum of Deoband have invented a new way or made a new path of Islam, uh, the interpretation of Islam, deviating from the mainstream of Islamic Ummah. This is not true. We are not referring to these scholars. We are not praising these scholars. We are not following these scholars because they are a particular sect or a particular group that have in invented a new branch of religion or something like that. The reason why we are speaking of these people, these great people, is not that they are a sect or they are a different branch of Islam. In fact, we are referring to these people, we are memorizing these people, we are praising these people, we are paying gratitude to these people because they were in the south subcontinent of continent of India who have preserved Islamic knowledge for us. And it will, will not be an exaggeration to say that if we are Muslims here, if we are, alhamdulillah, reciting the kalima of La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, or Shadwan La ilaha illallah, Shadwan Muhammad Rasulullah, it is only because of the efforts made by these scholars of subcontinent of India. And these are the true representatives of the dictates of the Holy Quran and the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet Sayyiduna Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 